Hi there, this is Carol King, the developer of Custom Home Builder Solutions, also known as CHS. This video is going to be basically about how to void checks that you have posted in CHS, but also it will be about how to change the cash account, the check number, or the check date that you posted it as, just in case there were some boo-boos when you posted the check. So I'll show you where to go to take care of basically editing checks by voiding them or editing them in other ways and also how to post a zero void check that's like say it's a check that got torn or thrown away or is missing and you just need to record it as a zero voided check so let's get started on that first of all if you need to void a check you might start wondering where do I do that and one suggestion is that you use the index on the main menu and start typing the word void notice that it says checks void checks and what it opens is the window to look at all of your checks your lists of checks with various search features for finding those but I'm going to close that the basic place for doing that is under cache because it is list of checks list of checks void you could also under unpaid payables see list of checks I'm not sure if it's an all payables records list of checks so there's various places and let's collapse all these menus and I'll go to the basic place I usually go to see about anything that has to do with cash and I'll go to the list of checks which will open that same window that we just saw a minute ago you use the list of checks database to review detail behind checks that you've posted or to change cash account check date or check number like I mentioned or to void checks or to simply print lists of checks with or without the checks detail to void a check that was posted for an amount make selections below to find the check then click the button to open the list of checks. we will come back to posting a zero void check for that check that just got damaged or thrown away or you're taking out and you're not going to really print it because it was weird however <laughs> so let's get started on voiding a check now down here you'll notice there's min and max states of the earliest date in your accounting database and the latest date and if you just wanted to see all checks for whatever reason you could click this link use min max GL dates but I'm going to I'm doing this video in March of 2021 and I'm just gonna see what kind of checks I've posted recently and demos etc so I'll just start with January 1st and go through to today so I'm doing it on March 13th and if I was interested in a check that I knew was in a particular cash account I could select that cash account to narrow down the filters or usually if you're voiding a check you know which vendor you're gonna void it for so you might want to select that you might know your check date you might know the check number that you issued but I'm just going to look at checks that I've done, which are probably demo ones that I've been doing, so that I can just decide on one that maybe I'm voided. So let's take a look. I want to just check the detail. You can drill down on the check amount to see the detail. If I look at this, I can see that it was all demo stuff that I was doing to jobs that I don't care about. <laughs> so basically, I'm interested in voiding the check and then get ready, rid, of, rid of the original entries that I made here which you might also you might say we're never paying for whatever this was that we did the check for so we're going to void it and get rid of the original entries so I'll click to void this and that's what you use is that link over there it's showing me the amount of the check and the place and it says alert vendor bills with check will be marked as unpaid if this check is voided click to view the invoices paid by this check which is that same list of invoices you saw a minute ago that I can double check that this is the check I want to void over here there is important information this method to void a check will add the amount of the check back to your cash account so of course voiding a check would add it back as of the original check date now I'm going to do a video following this video if you don't perhaps you're voiding a check from last year sometime and you've closed the books and you don't want it to void as of last year's date you want it to void in this year I will be doing a video about that about how to handle that and to not use this window for that and it's talking about to post a voided check on a different date do not use this window and it's talking about that and we'll come back to that 
If the button is clicked to void this check, the invoice is paid with the check will be returned to an unpaid status. The reason for that, they don't, it doesn't get rid of those original invoices because maybe the check just got damaged. It got posted, but it got damaged itself and you're wanting to repay the check. Or somebody called and said they never got the check, so you're going to want to reprint a check to them. So you don't want all those original invoices to just disappear just because we avoided the check. If needed, the resulting unpaid invoices can be edited or deleted by using the button to open unpaid payables for this vendor. So if you open unpaid payables for this vendor right now, there are not any unpaid payables right existing, but after we avoid the check, there will be. And we'll come back to posting a zero void check in a minute. So notice that when I say click to void this check, it says will be automatic. It's not going to pause and say, are you sure? There's a reason for that. But anyway, then I won't explain. But it will just go ahead and take care of it. So I'll click it. I get a message saying it's voided. The void check has been posted and the payables entries paid with the check have been set to an unpaid status. That's important for you to be aware of. To edit or delete the unpaid payables entries that were originally paid with the check, use the button to open unpaid payables for this vendor. So I'll use that button again, and instead of telling me there were no unpaid payables, it's now showing me all those various payables that I was setting back to unpaid. It's important to note that this window is only for editing by using the edit button, editing the entry, and is not for approving or selecting bills to pay. This is just when you're at usually open to delete unpaid entries after voiding a check and also just to look at them if you're going to leave them as unpaid and reprint. So what I could do is I'm deciding I don't want these entries to be in unpaid. These were a bunch of junk demo ones. So I'm going to just delete them. I can't delete that one because I included it in the cost plus draw and I can't delete that one <laughs> because I was including it in a cost plus draw. But if there's no reason to not delete it, if I need to reverse these to get rid of them, and then in the next draw that I do, uh, those will be reversed out, then that's what will happen. But it'll take care of not letting you just delete them. If for some reason there's been a job closing or books were closed and deleting this accounting record would affect you, um, but with the home buyer, when you issue them a draw request in CHS, this is a cost plus draw, they don't want the first draw to just suddenly change. And if this record just disappeared, your second draw wouldn't match your first draw. So we do have to prevent that. You can always go post a reversing entry to get rid of it and get rid of this effect. This is kind of a fake job, so to me it doesn't matter. But you could delete. This one probably will let you delete it. This one will probably let you delete it. You can edit some things about these and see that they're an unpaid, but you need to take care of these entries however you like. Maybe you're just going to go to unpaid payables and reprint this check because you did mean to pay them for that. Let's close this. So that's basically how you void a check. Now notice that this check now shows a zero amount because it's a void check, but the check number has been set to 4568 space is void. Now what I'd like to do is also talk about posting a zero void check and that's if there's just some damaged check out there or something. You can use this. It's just a check that never got printed, never got posted in CHS. You can use post a zero void check on this list or right up front you can use to post a zero void check. Click this. Now this is for a check that's never been posted in CHS. Let's just play like we damaged a check in the operating checking account and we just want to record that it was damaged. Now you could set up a vendor that would be here. It does need a vendor because of the way everything needs to have something in fields in the accounting database. You could set up a vendor titled void checks if you like over on your vendor setup, but I, I don't think I have one like that. So I'm just going to use a miscellaneous vendor that I have set up. So I'm on the date field, and I want to say today's date, I guess, that I'm entering it, that it got damaged today. And my void check number on our, on our list of checks that I had sitting out, 1044 was sitting on top, and somebody accidentally spilled coffee on it, or who knows what, it was out, ready to go. But 
I'm not going to use it, so I just want to post a zero void check. So I am. I'll post the zero void check, and it says please close this window. So if I go here now and I open list of checks, you'll notice that there's one more check up here in this list of checks for the cash operating checking that just says 1044 is void. And what it does is it automatically marks this one as cleared the bank because it won't ever show up. It won't matter, so you don't need to have it show up in your list of uncleared things when you're doing a bank wreck. But I'd like to point out that if you need to void a check and you try to void a check uh, that has some of these symbols showing it as cleared before you void it, CHS is going to pop up if you click to void this and it showed that you'd marked it as cleared on a bank wreck because it will show them as you clear them on bank wrecks. It will pop up and say, this has already cleared the bank. Are you sure you want to void this? And if you want to void it, you're going to need to use this little icon here to mark the check as not cleared, which could throw your bank wreck off, which CHS will tell you about. It's taking care of you and letting you know about doing various things. So the other thing I wanted to talk about is these fields over here about how you can change the cash account. You can change, if you hover over it, the paid date or you can change the check number. Now let's pretend that, let's just mess with this one so we don't mess with all this string of checks. For some reason, we then printed the Christensen air condition and plumbing check and we printed it on 1045 for whatever reason. So if I change the check number to 1045, that's all this is, change check number, it shows the old one and I can type in a different check number and submit the change. It says the change has been posted and now it's 1045. Now you might want to go post a zero void check for 1043 because maybe it was a damage something and that's why you're doing this. Who knows, but that you can change the check number that way. You can also change the check date. Um, first of all, let's drill down on that detail. So it was on March 8th also that the invoice was dated. If I try to change the check date, to before the date of the invoices. This could have said 3-8. Any date after those invoices, we could have printed the check. Let's try to use March 5th, and we try to submit the change. It's telling you the check date cannot be earlier than any of the invoices dates on the entries, because that makes accounting funny that you have invoice dates that are after the check date so it won't let you do that because it makes it illogical so please click the button to view the bills paid by this check and it's right here and you can see oh it's dated 38 i can't do that but if i'm wanting to change the check date to 39 it's going to let me submit that change it says the change has been posted and now the check date is 39 and then I could say, oh no, I paid this out of a different cash account for whatever reason. So it's the wrong cash account, and it's kind of the same thing. You can say, change it, and it will give you a list of the cash accounts that you've set up on your chart of accounts as cash accounts to select from so that you could post it to the correct cash account. I'm actually not going to do that because I don't want to mess up my demo stuff too much but perhaps you paid AT&T and you let the default checking account just stay there when it asked what, when you were getting ready to post the check because we do let you select a default checking account to drop in so you might not notice. You might print the check and then you might realize, oh, I put it to the wrong cash account. And then you need to change what cash account you posted it to. It is that simple to do it. Now what I'd like to show you is after doing all of those kinds of changes, we have a checks audit, and you could look at it to see user changed check date from 38 to 39. That's what you just saw me do. It was me at this time of day. User changed check number from 1043 to 1045, and there's the check that I avoided. User avoided check shown. And if you look over here, you can see the paid day reference or check number that was original before I changed it. So this was 1045, 1043, and you can say what happened to 1043 or 1045, how come it's different now? I have a report that shows a 1043 for the, to Christians, and now it won't show the 1043 to Christians, so what's the deal? So what you can do is come in and look for 
you could search and if you look for let's say 1043 reference or check number is where you would like to look for that or you can look for that vendor or look for various things to find out audits but in this case we're talking about checks and I would get the answer right here user change check number from 1043 to 1045 so an old report might be different from a new report because of this change you made and you might call me up and say why is it not showing this and I'd be saying well let's go look at the audit and see who made that change. So I'd like you to know that when you're voiding checks, changing check numbers, all sorts of things, it's going to be audited. You're going to be able to find who did the change and why. So let's go ahead and close that and hopefully you got a good idea of how you would void checks that you've posted to CHS, how, we, how you might post a zero void check for checks that were never posted to CHS but you want to track, and how you could change an accident or a boo-boo about posting a check or a number of checks to the wrong cash account, the wrong check numbers, or the wrong check date. Thank you for watching.